Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a sheet in a haul. <laughs> so I just got this package in. I've never purchased anything from Shein, so this is going to be the first time I have ordered. I have heard of Shein, and I have seen a lot of things on Instagram and on YouTube about it. So I decided to give it a go, give it a try, and see how their clothes are. So I was looking through nightgowns, because that's what I need at the moment. I want some vintage-style, long, frilly, and lace, and ruffle nightgowns. So that's what I looked, and I got a couple options. They had a lot of beautiful things and I wanted to get more but I decided just to stick with four so I'm going to be showing you what I purchased. It came in individual bags. I know this can be wasteful but I am one of those persons that I will reuse these and these are perfect for when you travel. You could put it in your suitcase or luggage and you could put different things in here. You could divide them maybe one bag shirts, one bag nightgowns, one bag socks or pants so I definitely will put this to good use. This is the first item I purchased. It is a light blue floor length nightgown with lace detail. So we have a lace, a lace scallop details on the edges of the straps and I love these straps. Because I don't know if you could tell on screen, but it, it's very narrow and then it becomes wide. And it kind of lays out on your shoulders and it's a very feminine and very beautiful look. And then there's some lace detail on the front. There's an elastic band, so it is very flattering because it cinches you up right up here. And then on the bottom it has more lace detail. So I love this on the bottom, it has a little lace trim. And it's a very soft material. It's mostly cotton. I believe it's 95% cotton. So it's very soft and very comfortable. And it feels like it's very cool. So even in the summer month, you'll be able to wear this because it feels very refreshing. So this is one of my favorite um, purchases from this package. And then this is the second blue nightgown that I purchased. This one, <laughs> it's gorgeous. So, this one also has a lot of lace, but it has lace all through the sleeves. And the sleeve kind of open up at the end. It's a floral lace. I love it. It's very beautiful. And I love how the ends kind of have these little frills. It has a bow in the middle, and then again in the front it has a little bit of some frills here. The rest of the nightgown is just a light blue and this one goes a little bit below the knees so it's not completely floor length. What um, It's a beautiful nightgown on. It's very beautiful. It looks amazing. One thing I didn't like is that it is very sheer. So you definitely can see everything underneath which might not be a bad thing depending on your situation. But I wanted something that I could wear around the house and that if I had to go in the yard or go somewhere that it would still cover and be modest. So this is good if you want something that is a little bit transparent. You can't always wear a little slip underneath to cover it. The material is a chiffon type of material. Let me see what it's made out of. It's 100% polyester, so it's definitely not soft and cottony like the first one. This is definitely something if you want to look cute and also a little bit sexy. This one is my second favorite. It is a peachy pink lace ruffle gown and this one goes a little bit below the knee it has lace ruffles around the edge of it's not really the neckline it goes right above here right above your collarbone 
has a little bow and it wraps around. This one kind of lies a little bit further down your shoulder, which I like when I sleep. I don't like anything that's too close to my neck. And the material is also very soft, very refreshing. It has some ruffles on the bottom. Let me check what material this is. 95% cotton as well. That's why it is so soft and very refreshing. This is something that I could definitely wear around the house. It isn't too sheer. It's a little bit, but not like the blue one. So if you wear like a little bralette underneath, it'll definitely cover everything up. You won't be able to see anything. So the next one is very romantic and very girly. It has lots of lace and it has a chiffon over a cotton little slip. It is attached. They're not separate. So this feels very soft, very refreshing, just like that cotton material from the, the blue nightgown and the coral one. This one is a light pink. And the underneath slip goes probably finger length, so a little bit, a couple inches above the knee. And then the chiffon goes all the way down, a little bit above the ankle. And the chiffon has a lace scallop trim. It's very delicate. It has some puff sleeves. And then it has some lace around the neckline with a little bow in the middle. I'm gonna... And it opens up. So it's very cute. It's very flattering. Because it has two layers, it is not very revealing. It's not very see-through. But one thing I did not like about it is it runs a little bit small. So the other nightgowns ran true to size. I purchased a small from the majority. The blue with all the lace on top, I purchased an extra small and it fit perfectly. This one fits a little bit snug. It's small. And normally I am a small, so I was surprised. It's very tight in the top. I wanted it to be a little bit loose, but it's it's not too much. It's a little bit small. So some of them will run a little bit small, and I'm guessing maybe some of them also run a little bit big, just depending on what you purchase. But for the most part, it was true to size. Beautiful. Besides the nightgown, I also purchased some slipper because I wanted something that I could wear with the nightgown. So I found these. They're very cute. I purchased a medium, and usually the mediums fit perfect. This one was a little bit small, so I think their slippers might run a little bit big. I believe it is a Korean brand, because it does have Korean writing on the back, so that may be why it runs a little bit small. I could still wear it, but um, it is a little bit snug. It has a little crystal and bow and it says love so they're very cute they are pretty comfortable they have this rubber sole so I definitely like this but I would definitely recommend going a size up out of everything I purchased this is my favorite these sandals they are so cute and so comfortable they're like flip-flops so in here you stick your toes in, which I like because it gives you more support, but then it also has a strap around, so it's a lot of support. So these are super comfortable when you wear them. I thought they weren't going to be comfortable because of the material. I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's actually very rubbery and sponge-like. I did <laughs> wear them today. I couldn't resist. And I love them for either being in the house or being outside. You could wear these outside. They are very comfortable. They are sturdy. So they're not like the flimsy kind. These are actually really sturdy. And absolutely gorgeous. They have a suede feel. Very fluffy. And it is like a rose. A, a dusty pink color. So I absolutely love these are 
this is a size 40 that's right oh no this is a size euro 39 which i believe is considered a seven and a half in us and these are very true to size so i think it just depends on what you purchase in shein i think there are many different manufacturers this one says made in china and i'm pretty sure these i'm not sure where these were made but i'm guessing korea because they have korean on it they both say Shein, but this is a sticker, so this could have been put post production. So I do believe that they make their they manufacture their items maybe in different countries and or maybe in different manufacturing plants, and that's why their size is very. I believe they might be made in the same manufacturer and just their size vary depending on the product. But it wasn't too much of a difference, just a little bit. With this, I would stick to your regular size, but for the sandals the indoor sandals i will stick i would go up a size so these i don't think you could wear outside they're definitely household sandals these you could definitely and i definitely these you can wear outside so if you are gonna purchase on shein make sure to buy these these are amazing they are the most comfortable sandals i've purchased in a long time and they're really cute and you could even wear this with a dress if you want to like more casual but not so casual as just regular flip-flops like that's what I really want to wear these for or when I wear shorts and I want to dress up my shorts or if I want to just dress down my dresses without having without wearing regular flip-flops since I already had a couple items in my cart I decided to add some swimsuits that way I could get free shipping so I purchased these two swimsuits one thing I didn't wasn't aware when I purchased them is that you cannot return swimsuits on Shein. So keep that in mind when you are purchasing swimsuit that if it doesn't fit or it doesn't look good, you cannot return it. So I love this swimsuit. So in the bottom is just a regular white swimsuit material. It has a little bit of ruffles on the bottom. And then on top it is kind of a mesh material with floral detail and they have this in a couple colors I like the white the most they did have it in pink and I believe in black and the petals of the flowers on here are like a champagne color and then the leaves are a light green but it's not a bright neon green, it's more of a neutral. I do like the swimsuit, it is on the cute side. What I didn't like about it is that the mesh material was just cut. There, There's no seam on here. So with consistent wear, it is gonna start fraying. So something to keep in mind if you're looking for longevity, this one probably is not gonna last a long time unless you like that frayed look so that's one thing I did not like I feel like they should have put some kind of stitches on the bottom of this this is how it looks like and this one the top fit true to size I bought oh no actually I bought a medium and normally I'm a small so this does run a little bit smaller but I got a medium because my bottom is a medium and I figure, you know, you could get away with the top. But the top did fit fine and I'm usually a small in swimsuit tops. So keep that in mind. The top might be a little bit snug. The bottom are also quite snug. One thing I did not like about the swimsuit bottom is that the band is not an elastic band. So when I put them on, I did hear some tearing of the this what is it the the stitching so I'm not sure I mean it there is an elastic but it's just a very poor elastic and I'm not sure if it's this particular model or if the one I got was effective or if all the swimsuits are like this because the other swimsuit I got was not a two-piece but I did not like it because it's not very stretchy and when I put it on I feel like I'm just ripping it and so this one is also white on the bottom this is meant to be high-waisted the band on here the funny thing is that the elastic on here is a normal elastic 
it stretches but for some reason on the waistband it is a different elastic so I'm not sure if that is a defect um, and you can't return swimsuits so I'm just gonna have to make this work so it looks like a little skirt on top so I wanted something that was a little bit more conservative and that's why I got this because it covers up on the back it, it does have more of a cheeky style which I know is very in I personally like a little bit more coverage but I know a lot of people don't like that so because it has a cover on top I think it's fine if it shows a little bit a little bit cheeky on the cheeky side it's high waisted it goes a little bit below my belly button I'm not gonna try these on I'm just gonna show you but yeah it goes a little bit below your belly button and so it's not super high waisted it's just a little bit high waisted and also the edges are not there is no trim and as you can see some of it is already coming off which is going to happen because they did not put a trim on this but it might just be for this particular um, type of swimsuit the second swimsuit I bought was a full piece uh, and I don't know, I'm not a big fan of this swimsuit this is not made for small chested women um, the picture was someone that was a little bit bustier, so it looked more flattering, but this really, when you don't have anything, just kind of accentuates the fact that you don't have any. It has its little ruffles, and I thought that, you know, that would be great at, you know, disguising it, but they just keep popping up. I don't know, maybe if I iron it down, but in the picture, it didn't look so up just kind of comes up which I think is not very flattering it does have a removable cup it is wired so I think this more, would be more flattering for someone who's a little bit on the busty side it ties in the back which I I like put a little knot the straps are adjustable it's very flattering on your waist because it does have, this goes around your waist. I messed it up. So this part goes around your waist. So it is very flattering and then it has these strings. It's not boned, so it's very soft. And that kind of gives you a slimming waist. It has these ruffles. And so if you aren't very curvy, it's gonna give you an illusion of some curves. What I did not like about this is I purchased a medium and I think it was just a little bit big on me. Um, the waistline was too high so I don't know if it's just too big or if it was made for someone longer. I'm 5'5 five, five, and it just wasn't flattering. This went too high and it just kind of started to look like it sagged in the back. The back is very thin so it's going to show a lot so for a one piece you are going to show a little bit of booty and a little bit of chest. So I think if you are busty and have a little bit of curves this would be flattering for someone who does not have a lot of curves up here it's not going to be flattering. So their swimsuits I am not a fan of their swimsuits just because you can't return it and I understand it's unhygienic to return these but it's just a bummer when you buy them and they just don't look good on you but I guess that's the risk you take for buying just online so I'm probably gonna give this one away this is very unflattering I am small on top and usually I'm maybe between medium and small on the bottom, so that might also be a factor when buying a full body swimsuit. Maybe that was, you know, medium both, it would have fit a little bit better. I will definitely wear this one. I think it's cute. So not all of them are bad. Just be prepared that when you purchase these, it is a risk you're taking that it might not fit. That being said, I was pretty impressed with Shein. Um, I really like their nightgowns. Their pricing was very affordable. I had a 20% discount that I used when I purchased this. So a lot of my nightgowns were in between $10 and $15, which I think is very affordable for a nightgown. Um, I haven't worn them, so I can't 
a test if they will last but they feel the material feels very nice i have purchased other things more expensive that were less quality and the swimsuit for the price for $15 plus I had the 20% off I think was very good. So I ended up getting these I think a little bit over $10. Why is it like a it's 20% off? Like $12. <laughs> I can't do math. And then I I like the sandals. The sandals were very comfortable. So it's hit or miss. But for the most part, I am pretty impressed for the price. I think their products are are well I know they do for the first purchase you can have free returns and after that purchase you do have to pay for returns I think unless the item is damaged so that's something to take into consideration um, but if you like purchasing online and you don't mind paying that return shipping it's great so thank you thank you for watching my video I definitely encourage you if you haven't purchased she in it's definitely worth giving it a try it's affordable the items are nice and for the most part they are true to size so you guys have a great day